Hi everyone, my name is Ed Ransley. I'm a researcher in the School of Engineering, Computing and Mathematics at the University of Plymouth. And I'm just going to give you a short overview of some of the wave structure interaction research taking place at the university and in particular within the Coast Engineering Research Group. Firstly, physical modelling is a key part of the WSI related research at the university and one of the main assets we have at Plymouth is the Coast Laboratory which houses a number of facilities including wave basins and flumes. We have both wave and current generation and are currently developing both blown wind capabilities and real-time hybrid modelling for floating offshore wind turbines. We do experiments with aerated flow and look extensively at breaking or broken wave phenomenon, including sloshing. We can also add sediments to the coastal basin and flumes in order to model morphodynamic and sediment transport behaviour. We work extensively with offshore renewable energy applications, including both commercial device testing and academic research of wave energy converters, floating tidal and floating offshore wind concepts. We are also keenly working on a number of novel, flexible wave energy devices. We also model operations and maintenance procedures and environmental impact, as well as coastal engineering applications. And if you haven't already seen the experiments from the Stormland project, in which we built a one in 40th scale model of the Wolf Rock Lighthouse, including Wolf Rock, then please take a look at stormlamp.org.uk. In most cases, a key motivation for the physical modeling is to provide validation data for numerical modeling. And we have state-of-the-art measurement capabilities, including six degrees of freedom, motion capture, and particle velocimetry instrumentation. CFD is a key part of our numerical modeling work. Uh, we principally use the open source mesh-based Navier-Stokes solvers of OpenFoam. We work on non-linear wind, wave, and current generation methods with a focus on offshore renewable energy applications and have been developing an efficient turbine modelling framework for coupled modelling of floating tidal stream and floating offshore wind concepts. We are also working on dynamic mooring and cable modelling, as well as multi-body devices. We also work on coastal engineering applications, specifically looking at breaking slash broken wave interactions and sediment transport modelling under breaking waves. In addition, we recognise that traditional high fidelity modelling like CFD is too computationally expensive for routine use in industry. So we are working on a number of strategies to improve the efficiency and speed up our high fidelity numerical modelling. Through the CCP WSI partnership, we are developing a zonal CFD domain decomposition strategy with the goal of utilising more efficient methods where possible and only use expensive numerical methods when strictly necessary. Through our CCP WSI blind tests, we hope to gain a better understanding of the required model fidelity in different WSI scenarios. And in collaboration with the other CCP WSI partners, we are developing a number of code coupling strategies in both space and time. In addition to this, through the CCP WSI and an Archer ECSC project, we have been working on improving the parallel efficiency of our open foam simulations with adaptive meshing and dynamic load balancing. More recently, we've been working on machine learning methods and developing surrogate models for numerical data from numerical data in order to enable design optimization and provide parametric assessments from sparse data sets. We're also using these concepts to develop our real-time hybrid modelling system for floating offshore wind turbines in the Coast Lab. As you've probably guessed, offshore renewable energy is a key area of interest for our group, and we are involved in a large number of related initiatives like the Supergen ORE Hub, which Professor Greaves leads, and the Primary Partnership. We are also working with, within a number of EU projects like Tiger and Portos, as well as a number of tasks run by the International Energy Agency on both wind and wave energy research and development. Thank you very much for your attention.